I'm so proud of you. And I love this film so much. And uh, you know, uh, one thing that I'm so invigorated by it, it's a thing that I celebrate in my own life and celebrate with my children, is just the love of theater. The love of theater at its good level, base level, is people, people going in and being transformed by something magical. Yes, I know. On stage. That's what we need people to teach children in schools, you know. That, that kind of enthusiasm to go and say, you know, you can be made angry, you can be made, made to laugh, or you can be made to think, or you can be anything, but that's what theatre does. That's what's so wonderful about it. And it celebrates, you know, possibly the greatest writer that ever lived, or at least one of them, yes. if not the greatest, and, and celebrates his words and his life, I know. even though it might be fictional. I know. And it's got all sorts of other references in it, too, which are charming, kind of modern things, follow that boat, and things like that, you know, that people can pick up on. And every time you come on camera in this film, I, I don't know whether to laugh or be frightened by you. No. Oh. oh, good. I think that's an appropriate that's, response. That's quite good for her, yes. She was a beat ahead of everybody. She, she appears to... Mind you, if you'd laughed and she was being serious, the head would have come off. And if you'd been serious and she'd have made a joke, the head would have still come off. You couldn't have won with her, could you? <laughs> I don't think there's any way to win other than to acquiesce. Quite. And to just be there. I want to ask you a question about acting, just about how you feel about what you do, and it's, it's kind of your inner feelings. But if you, if you didn't make a dime doing this, if you take away income and publicity and notoriety, and it's just really about the moment of doing it, what do you really love about acting? I love it because it is a way of communicating. I'm not good at small talk in a room. I don't go to parties. Uh, I, I'm not... My husband said I don't understand any long words, and in a way I don't. But it is a way. It is a way of communicating with people. It's a way of telling an author's story, which can somehow, sometimes, sometimes change part of a person's life. Sometimes make them feel better about something. Sometimes worse. Sometimes make them just think about something. Um, so it's that. It's it's the thing of between an audience and an author, and you're in the middle. You're a sieve in the middle. It's the author, the director the actors and the audience, and we tell that story. I love it. People have asked me a lot recently, when are you going to ease up a bit? I said, you know, I'm the one percent who's doing the job I like doing. Why should I ease up? And it is one percent. I know. How lucky we are. It's a rare place to be. Yes, it is. And as long as you're asked to play the parts, I expect it to be Zimmer frames and wheelchairs, but so what? Mm. No, you're not. This is a good time for you. I'm assuming that it's a great time for you as far as, uh, as, far as film acting in particular. Which yes, which is something I've never really wanted to do. and It's very nice to come to it so late in life. Do you find acting as fulfilling now as when you started? Yes, I find it more difficult too. Why? Because more, the more you do, the more is expected of you. And I know that the more economical I must be, I've learnt that. It's taken me a long, long time. 41 years I've been on stage. It's only, it's taken me 30-something of those years to understand about economy. That less is more? That less is more. Mm. And uh, so, and I come to new parts and I think, oh yes, I think I could do this. And it always, always, I mean, we also have a joke in our family about the man with the bucket of ice cold water. The moment you think, oh yes, this is a box, <laughs> this man comes, throws the bucket of ice cold water in your face and you're given another problem to work out. But it's wonderful. And I, I, I just love doing it. And I love being employed by young, younger directors. I don't want to be thought of as old hat or that I'm going to sit and be incontinent in my nighty. I don't want that. <laughs> Very nice. Nice and, to see you. And you.